at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. It seems almost inevitable that Voyager's name will come up whenever we discuss space missions. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 robotic probes were sent into space in 1977 as part of the Voyager program, a scientific endeavor designed to uncover new and exciting information about the cosmos. Voyager 1 has been making its way across space for decades, all the while providing us with invaluable new data. At first, each and every discovery seemed completely outlandish, but later, after careful examination by scientists, it was determined that they were all in fact true. Additionally, some new perplexing information has just surfaced. The CEO of SpaceX, a visionary entrepreneur Elon Musk, made a startling announcement lately that has scientists and space fans all over the world buzzing with excitement. Elon Musk claims that Voyager 1 has just discovered 500 objects traveling past in space, which completely alters our understanding of the cosmos. What are these mysterious objects, and how might they alter how we view the universe? Let's find out. Elon Musk, the mysterious and imaginative businessman behind SpaceX and Tesla, has caught the attention of the globe with his groundbreaking endeavors, bold aspirations, and unwavering drive. Musk has transformed the automotive sector, pioneered space travel, and investigated renewable energy sources. He has also come to represent innovation and disruptive thought. Elon Musk's early years were characterized by an entrepreneurial spirit, an endless curiosity, and a tenacity that helped to mold his personality. Musk, who was raised in South Africa, showed a strong interest in science and technology from a young age, frequently becoming lost in books and learning about a variety of topics. Musk has been interested in space travel since he was a young boy. Musk recognized that exploring space held the key to securing humanity's future and was motivated by the great space pioneers. This aspiring seed would later grow into SpaceX, his revolutionary aerospace business. Here, Elon Musk's invention, Tesla Motors, has revolutionized the automobile and aerospace industries. Musk set out to develop electric vehicles that could compete with their gasoline-powered equivalents because of his commitment to environmentally friendly transportation. Tesla's avant-garde strategy and svelte designs for electric vehicles attracted notice on a global scale. The impact of Tesla went well beyond the vehicle industry. Musk's idea of a sustainable energy ecosystem included methods for producing and storing renewable energy in addition to electric automobiles. Musk wanted to hasten the transition to sustainable energy and cut carbon emissions on a global scale with Tesla. Elon Musk started SpaceX to modernize and democratize space travel. In Musk's future, humans will colonize Mars and explore other planetary bodies, becoming an interplanetary species. SpaceX's lofty objectives defied logic and pushed the limits of what was thought to be feasible. As the first privately funded business to launch a spaceship into orbit, SpaceX accomplished feats that were previously believed to be the sole preserve of governments. The achievements of SpaceX go beyond the placement of payloads in orbit. Reusable rocket technology was created by the business, greatly lowering the price of space travel. Millions of people have been inspired by Musk's ambition to construct a self-sustaining colony on Mars, which is advancing humanity closer to a time when space travel is commonplace. The scope of Musk's idea went beyond SpaceX and Tesla. Solar technology developments and the incorporation of solar electricity into daily life are thanks in large part to Musk's original ideas and entrepreneurial zeal. Significant interest was shown in Elon Musk's idea for a high-speed transportation system called the Hyperloop. By substantially lowering travel times and energy consumption, this futuristic mode of transportation, which involves pods going through vacuum-sealed tubes, promises to revolutionize long-distance travel. Elon Musk's outsized personality and outspoken views have attracted a lot of media attention. His social media activity and eagerness to interact with the public have drawn praise and criticism, putting more attention on his activities. According to Elon Musk, the first step is to show that something is possible and then probability will happen. Recently, Elon Musk's news that Voyager 1 has discovered 500 unidentified space objects has excited and piqued the attention of the scientific community and space fans alike. The nature and significance of these mysterious objects are among the many issues that are raised by this amazing revelation. 
a group of radio telescopes covering a quarter of the planet witnessed something amazing about 10 years ago. The feeble radio signal from Voyager 1 was picked up by the Very Long Baseline Array VLBA, in February 2013, verifying that it is the farthest object made by humans. This robotic representative of Earth was 11.5 billion miles away at the time, making it much too small to be resolved visually. The VLBA located a needle in a cosmic haystack by tracing its weak radio signal. In a press conference, Voyager project manager Suzanne Dodd remarked of the bluish oval speck, just a speck in amongst a sea of darkness. The look was returned. 23 years earlier, Voyager 1 took 64 pictures against the backdrop of the southern constellation Eridanus, which resembles a curtain. The family portrait showed six of the planets of the Sun, including the light blue dot that serves as our planet. In his 1994 book Pale Blue Dot, cosmologist Carl Sagan stated, Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, has lived out their lives. A single mote of dust suspended in a moonbeam, as he described the view of Earth from space, became almost as iconic as the Earthrise picture shot by an Apollo 8 astronaut showing the planet as viewed from the moon. But let's take a look back at these fearless explorers so that we may properly understand the significance of Elon Musk's assertion. 46 summers ago, the twin voyagers departed from Earth. They traveled to powerful Jupiter, ringed Saturn, gloomy Uranus, and stormy Neptune during that span of years in order to demonstrate the sheer insignificance of humanity. We were mesmerized by the brutalized moons, ring fragments clinging to million-mile racetracks, sulfur-belching volcanoes, ice-spewing geysers, Star Wars-esque craters, and churning, Earth-sized tempests that the Voyagers observed. Fifteen days before Voyager 1, Voyager 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Voyager 2 traveled farther and more slowly than its twin, and it reached Jupiter in July 1979, two years after its launch. Its journey's Jupiter chapter went deeper than Pioneer had in its exploration of the gas giant, its magnetosphere, and its moons. Amazing views of the entire Jovian system were returned by Voyager 2, and the time-lapse movies created from its images of Jupiter demonstrated how the planet had changed since Voyager 1's visit. The Great Red Spot was closely examined by the spacecraft, which discovered that the storm steadily diminished over time. Io's surface has changed over time, and its volcanic outbursts have persisted, as seen in the photographs. Additionally, it showed a third element of the planet's rings and the existence of the 14th moon. It traveled towards Saturn, utilizing Jupiter as a launch pad to Saturn after studying Jupiter using the gravity assist method. On August 25, 1982, Voyager 2 reached the lovely planet Saturn with its rings. As a result, after Pioneer 11 in 1979 and its twin Voyager 1 in 1980, it was the third spacecraft to visit Saturn. Another up-close look at Saturn and its moons was provided by Voyager 2. The spacecraft observed the planet's rings with its photopolarimeter at a considerably higher resolution, which resulted in the finding of many more ringlets. Additionally, it gave clearer pictures of the shepherding moons, the F-ring, and its spokes and kinks. Voyager 2 reached its never-visited-before target of Uranus in January 1986. It was the first spacecraft to ever visit Uranus as a result, and it is still the only one to have passed by the planet. The spacecraft discovered indications of a boiling ocean of water 500 miles beneath Jupiter's cloud tops during its trip there. Additionally, it was discovered that the average temperature at its sun-facing pole was the same as the equator. Ten new moons, two new rings, and an oddly slanted magnetic field on Uranus that was stronger than Saturn were also found. The planet is 98 degree inclined, which means it essentially turns on its side, as observed by the probe. Following its exploration of Uranus, the spacecraft was propelled toward Neptune by a gravity assist at Uranus. Voyager 2 reached Neptune on August 25, 1989, about three years and a half after it left Earth for Uranus. It is the only artificial object to have flown by Neptune so far. The spacecraft traveled less than 3,100 miles above the planet's cloud tops during its closest approach of the whole trip. Voyager 2 made several discoveries about Neptune, including five moons, four rings, and a great dark spot that had disappeared by the time the Hubble Space Telescope captured an image of the planet five years later. 
Additionally, it showed that Triton, the biggest moon of Neptune, is the solar system's coldest known planetary body and has a nitrogen ice volcano on its surface. Voyager 2 successfully completed its initial journey to our solar system's four outer planets. After Neptune's flyby, Voyager 2 was finally sent on an endless course out of the solar system by a gravity boost at Neptune, which sent it below the plane in which the planets orbit the Sun. Nearly 18 years after its Neptune trip, Voyager 2 passed the termination shock into the heliosheath, a tumultuous region where the solar wind abruptly slows and intensifies. Finally, NASA declared in December 2018 that Voyager 2 had reached interstellar space. After its sister ship Voyager 1 did so in 2012, Voyager 2 became the second spacecraft to do so. Voyager 2 is still transmitting data from its five active instruments as it navigates through interstellar space as of July 2019. Additionally, it is anticipated that at least one of the spacecraft's instruments will continue to function until 2025. But regrettably, there will come a moment when there won't be enough power to run even one experiment on the spaceship. Voyager 2 will continue its silent, unending voyage across the stars in this manner. It will be nearly 40,000 years before it approaches another star. The two are continuing to conduct research when they are more than 10 billion miles away from Earth, where our sun seems to be any other bright star. In case an alien encounters one of the spacecraft and is intrigued about its distant sender, they are carrying the golden records, which include the sounds and symbols of Earth. Each one carries a metal golden record that resembles a vinyl record. Each record was jam-packed with music, nature sounds, messages, images, and more by a group of scientists and artists, including Sagan and Frank Drake. They also featured players and instructions in case they were ever discovered. The huge undertaking aims to portray a tale about people, human aspirations, and our planet. Along with pictures of families, houses, and technological advancements, it features music by Bach and Chuck Berry. Scientist and Golden Records team creator John Lomberg said that the record's goal was to try to answer questions that we would have. What sort of creatures sent it? How do they appear? How do they behave? What was it like in their world? In essence, it is a self-portrait. The records are not intended to constitute a precursor to first contact, in contrast to the SETI, Search for Alien Intelligence program. In fact, it's possible that the Golden Records will be discovered in millions of years, perhaps after human civilizations have vanished. According to Lomberg, it's more like finding a fossil. Dinosaurs can't be spoken to. This is a reminder that we formerly lived here, sort of our obituary. Pioneer missions, which carried tiny metal plaques with symbolic messages, came before the Voyager probes. Though NASA's New Horizons, which passed by Pluto in 2015, presented another opportunity, no space mission since has included a similar record of humans. The pair of pioneers left the solar system in the 1980s and 90s, but they're no longer functional. Despite the fact that it could still be feasible to communicate digitally with the spacecraft's computer, Lomberg argues that was a squandered chance. That would be resilient, but not as long-lasting as the Golden Records. Since then, the Voyagers have had a real impact on space exploration. NASA and other organizations decided to revisit the outer planets, particularly Jupiter and Saturn and their numerous moons, as a result of their success. Galileo, Juno, Cassini, the Huygens lander from the European Space Agency, as well as upcoming missions like the Europa Clipper, Dragonfly and Juice, as well as planned trips to Uranus and Saturn's moon Enceladus, are among the following missions. Pop culture was also inspired by the Voyagers. Voyager and the Golden Records have appeared in TV shows including Saturday Night Live, The West Wing and, of course, The X-Files. The first Star Trek movie, released in 1979, included an alien spacecraft called V'ger, which was actually a modified fictional Voyager 6. Even a violin concerto influenced by Voyager was written by the composer Dario Marianelli. The two spacecraft have survived much longer than anyone could have predicted, and according to Dodd, the instruments are still functioning and the data is still excellent, but they are displaying aging symptoms. Voyager 1's telemetry data, which typically informs scientists back home about what the probe's instruments are doing and whether they are functioning properly, developed a bug in May, which she and her team had to deal with. Data had been returning incoherently. The distance involved made it difficult to resolve the situation, 
because transmissions to and from Voyager 1 now take close to 22 hours. The crew then discovered what was incorrect. Evidently, the incorrect computer was being used to communicate the telemetry data by the attitude control system, which was no longer operating correctly. By sending the information back to the proper computer, they were able to rectify the issue. The spaceship is happy and in good health. It's delivering science data very gorgeously, claims Spilker. But even if Dodd, Spilker, and their colleagues can keep working out these kinds of technical problems, the spacecraft's power supplies will continue to be a challenge. Their RTG systems generate energy by converting the heat produced by the radioactive decay of plutonium, 238. However, the fuel is currently producing 4 watts less annually after 46 years. In 2019, Dodd and her colleagues began shutting off heaters in some of the instruments that remained in operation after turning off any systems and devices not essential to the interplanetary mission. The lifespans of the spacecraft were extended by a few years as a result. The Voyager probes may still have a few years or even a decade remaining in them though, they will eventually run out of power to operate their instruments. The Voyagers will then serve as our quiet ambassadors, Spilker predicts. They will still transport the message of mankind in a bottle as they hurtle at 35,000 miles per hour into the unknown with their powered down equipment. The Golden Record, a product of human civilization and technological innovation from the 1970s will endure. It is not humiliating. It will endure for many billions of years it will outlive the planet it originated from. Jim Bell, a planetary scientist at Arizona State University and the author of a book commemorating the 40th anniversary of the Voyager mission, calls that kind of information mind-blowing. Bell makes the speculative claim that the distant spaceship may not finally be discovered by aliens, but by our own future generations. I think the message will really be for us, I said. When it is simple to travel, take visitors, and see the voyagers in the far future, we will be the ones to go discover it. We'll be reflecting on the fact that, in the 20th century, that was one of our species' most incredible feats. The declaration made by Elon Musk serves as a reminder of the size and unexplored nature of space. It piques our interest and makes us wonder about our place in the cosmos. The discovery of these objects highlights the importance of continuing to fund space exploration and scientific research. In order to understand the nature and origin of these strange objects, scientists and researchers are methodically scrutinizing the data supplied by the spacecraft. The results of this investigation have important ramifications for cosmology and future space travel. Examining the trajectory and features of the discovered objects by examining their roots and velocities is the first stage in data analysis. The goal is to learn more about their compositions and their origins. The behavior of each item can offer helpful hints for separating natural celestial bodies like comets or asteroids from man-made objects. In order to ascertain whether these objects are made of well-known materials from our solar system or if they have peculiar qualities, it is essential to analyze their composition. The chemical makeup of the objects can be determined using spectroscopic analysis, a method that looks at how light interacts with materials. Additionally, the information gathered by Voyager 1 enables researchers to evaluate the dangers that these objects might pose. Future space missions may be negatively impacted by the objects depending on their size, mass, and trajectory. This knowledge is essential for maintaining the security of spacecraft and astronauts as they travel through space, especially as humanity aspires to reach further afield to places like Mars and beyond. As Elon Musk, SpaceX, and several space agencies around the world continue their relentless goal of exploring further into the cosmos, the future of exploration holds enormous promise. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.